sorry, we're at the quarry, the so-called Roman quarry near Baalbek, where we have the stone of the pregnant woman, this huge uh, thousand ton block, which uh, is just phenomenal basically, but not even the biggest locally. Uh, local archaeologist has given us a tour of the site, but he is a firm believer that this is simply a Roman block that they didn't finish, so didn't move. But there is speculation and we're here to try and find the evidence that this block and another two are actually far older than the Roman period and could date back thousands of years prior to Christian times. And it's quite phenomenal to be here. I mean, it's just incredible, the size of it. But um, we're looking at these supposed rock-cut tombs as well. They're supposed to be Roman or Byzantine, but are they? Could they be older? Could they be a, a clue as to the true age of this site? Let's have a look. Layers. You can see all the different layers. So, yeah, so that's that's kind of, that carries there. down, yeah. yeah look, there's even tyre, look, look, there's a tyre there, yeah. it just shows, is that a tyre? Yeah. So it just shows how quickly yeah. it gets filled up. I'm here at the base of the excavations of possibly the largest stone block in the world, about 1,650 tonnes, carved out of the bedrock, by whom? That's what we're here to find out. Uh, and I'm looking right to the base, the bedrock area of this stone, assuming that that's here somewhere, just to see if there is any evidence of prehistoric activity here, or whether it is, as the, uh, as the academics tell us, these were carved out, created in Roman time. So let's see what we find. Well, I would say that most of the debris here has come down to this level from a much later date. In other words, there was a time when this was absolutely clear. Because, I mean, you've got relatively modern de debris, you've got medieval pottery coming out here, uh, large you know, jars, stuff like this, that probably only dates to medieval times or Byzantine times, maybe. Um, I mean, obviously it would be nice just to s see whether there was any prehistoric activity here, but in such a small, small period of time, it might be difficult, but we'll have a look. Okay, well, we're, we're still looking. I can't see any evidence yet prehistoric activity but to be honest I think you would need to look you know for a longer period of time but we'll continue to examine the site and see if we can find any other dating evidence. Okay, we've just heard the, uh, the official view on what's going on in this quarry, why that big block, you know, the stone of the pregnant woman was created, why we have these strange monoliths that are obviously carved out but have been left in place, and none of it is making any sense whatsoever. Uh, he's saying that uh, all they found was Roman, uh, evidence of Roman activity, evidence of Byzantine, no prehistoric activity whatsoever. When they cut down right to the, the bedrock with this even larger block that was found next to the stone of the pregnant woman. And that might be right as far as what he's saying, but he's also saying that, that all of this was done for the Roman temple of, of, of Jupiter, uh, that there was nothing essentially around beforehand, although he does admit that Neolithic uh, remains were found at Baalbek himself when the archaeologists tried to push down to the bedrock. So we know that there was prehistoric activity locally, 
But as far as this site, this quarry is concerned, nothing is making sense at all. It's almost like there is some kind of, you know, sort of misinformation being given out to tourists about what is going on here, what the stones represent, their purpose, why they were left behind, why these two incredible monoliths were left in place. Very clearly they were cut out of the bedrock and left, but why two side by side? You know, they, they wouldn't do that unless there was a, a function, a magical function for them. So it, it, it's only when we can be left to ourselves and start to come up with some true answers um, will it all begin to come together and make sense. Well, it's very ominous. We arrive at Baalbek, the place of Zeus, Jupiter, but also of the god Baal Hadad. He is the god of storms and weather. And just on cue, a thunderstorm starts. Thunder rumbling all the way round us. Is this a sign of the presence of the god himself? We're now at the Stone of the South. Uh, this is another huge block, over a thousand tons in size. Uh, parts of it have been cut out, uh, but it's very clearly uh, a building block. It's at the same alignment, interestingly enough, as the Stone of the Pregnant Woman, which is in the quarry next to it, uh, which I find intriguing. But I'm down here uh, amongst the, the dirt and muck uh, actually looking for any kind of dating evidence. Uh, but it's all mixed up, everything is, uh, is, you know, mostly just recent stuff, including complete crap and plastic bottles and whatever else. Uh, but I'm just seeing if there is anything that can give us an indication of age. I mean, what would be nice is to see here some kind of flint impl implement, uh, something that would tell us that it was actually carved using stone as opposed to metal. But, uh, I can't see that. Uh, and that's, that's, that's obviously concerning, but it doesn't necessarily mean, therefore, that we have to accept that these blocks were created during Roman times. We have to completely keep an open mind and continue to look for evidence that will give us the solution to this mystery. I mean, apparently there's not been any excavations done here because it's on private land. Oh. I, 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 would, I would recommend to, to, to do some excavation in there because this could give you you know, positive clues, I think, for, you know, the first people to use the quarry.